guys, in this tutorial, we are going to show you how to feed an LED using the launch pad with Energia. You can either use an external LED or onboard LED. If you wish to use an external LED, you can rig up the circuit as shown. Connect the anode of your LED to output pin 14 on your launch pad through a 220 ohm resistor. Connect the cathode directly to the ground. Or you can simply use the onboard LED that comes along with the launch pad. Now let's get started with the feeding of our LED. Simply plug your launch pad to your computer or USB. Next, let's open up Energia. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Basic, Feed. In the code example, we can see that we have a setup and loop portion. In the setup, we configure pin 14, which is called green LED in the code, as our output pin. We can fade the LED at varying brightness levels between on and off. This can be done with the help of analog write. Apart from pin 14, the pins which can be used as output pin along with analog write are shown in this hardware pin mapping guide. Now let's see what happens in the loop portion of the code. The analog write function that you'll be using in the main loop of your code requires two arguments. One telling the function which pin to write to and the one indicating what value to write. Now in this line, green LED, which is nothing but pin 14, to which green LED is attached is the first parameter and the integer value brightness, which is initialized to zero, is the second parameter for analog write. In order to fade your LED off and on, gradually increase the brightness value by phi from 0 to 255 as indicated by the line. Now once the brightness level reaches 255, start decrementing it by phi until it reaches 0. The if loop here checks to see if the brightness is at either extreme of its value, that is either at 0 or at 255. Then the fade amount is changed to its negative. In other words, if fade amount is phi, then it is set to minus phi. If it is minus phi, then it is set to phi. The next time through the loop, this change causes brightness to change the direction as well. Now that we know what the code does, let's run our code and see what happens to the LED. Press the verify and download button. And let's watch your LED fade. 